An art piece will be shown on each slide. I'll be asking you a series of questions regarding each one. All you need to do is answer them, okay? Okay, I like don't know anything about art. Mona Lisa? And yeah, it's Mona Lisa. Look at the Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Uh, back in, I think it was 1659. Oh my gosh, I don't even know who it's by. Leonardo da Vinci? Leonardo da Vinci. That's da Vinci, right? Pablo Picasso? Vincent, Vin no, not... Is it Vincent Van Gogh? Mona Lisa by da Vinci. Van Gogh! <laughs> Not Van Gogh, buddy. Da Vinci. <laughs> That's not his last name, bro. We are Da Vinci. This is Van Gogh's uh, A lot of historians think that he was drawing, uh, he was actually doing a self portrait of him as a female. And it's Bye. in the Louvre, and it's really the Louvre. It's in the Louvre. Uh, Starry Night. Fallen Star. Starry Night. Fallen Sky. Starry Night. Dark Sky. Is that just called Starry Night? Night Sky. Uh, Starry Night. This one was Van Gogh as well. <laughs> it was, this one was Van Gogh. The other one was a different person. Oh, shit. And it's by Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh. Mr. Van Gogh. Isn't he the guy that like, cut off his ear? Mr. One Ear. See, I know so much stuff. Didn't he have like a, a disease where he had really like bad eyesight, like color wise? Oh, was that Van That was Van Gogh. Just, I don't know. What did Vincent Van Gogh have? Fun fact, he took this on acid, and that's why everything is swirly. Probably look really good if you're high. It looks like he's tripping balls, really. Don't know this piece. I've seen it a lot, but I don't know it. The Last Wave by... I can't pronounce his name. Some Asian piece about a tsunami. Looks Japanese. Is that Japanese? It's Japanese, I think. A couple boats up in some waves, about to get f***ed up. This is kind of Poseidon's, Poseidon's way of punishing them for hunting whales. I feel like this is one of those pieces that was literally only made to evoke a reaction. This is famous? This is a famous piece. I don't know it. Uh, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say this is Picasso. This is Picasso. It really encapsulates the idea of society and how we treat babies. Like, I, I don't see the hoopla. You see between like the thickness of the lines and the colors of the whites. It, it like looks nice. I don't see how this could be introspective. Like, it's so simple, yet complexity outweighs. Uh, he said this is his interpretation of like dyslexia. What would you name it if you could name it? I wouldn't name it. Primary colors. That'd be my title. Society's baby. Square. No, rectangle because all squares are rectangles. So it's called the composition of yellow, red, and blue. <laughs> Shocking. Someone got pissed off and literally just threw all their paint and was like, I'm done with this art <laughs> this painting. Life, and then sold it and made some good money. I actually do know this one. It's called Snake Orgy. It looks like the like splatter paint. A kid threw up and then put yellow paint on it. Um, I do just went up there with the paintbrushes. Started playing a fruit ninja with that bit. I, I don't know what happened there. I'm not going to be one of those people that says uh, I could have done that because I didn't and it's not my work. What would you call this piece? Is it called splatter paint? Number 5002. Frustration. It's called number five. Number five. <laughs> the first four went horrible, so we had to reach it. Is it like super expensive? Yeah. Do you want to take a guess on how much it is? Maybe a couple bucks. Five dollars. I would say like maybe like a million dollars. 840,000. Definitely millions. How much is it worth? 165.4 million. Holy sh Yeah. F that. Because the it went whoosh, 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 and what the f That makes sense. This is why I don't get art. Like, I don't get how that's 165 million dollars. What I consider this art? Um, well, there's all different forms of art, so I wouldn't really say anything someone makes isn't art. Some people see it as art. Some people thought he was a visionary. This is literally like kindergartner being in paint. <laughs> Honestly, I could do that because I have a fancy last name, like, Evon Figua. Yeah, it's art. This is not art. You study this in art history? World's Greatest Detective. Um, Pink Panther obviously got a lot of fans from his movies. It's the Pink Panther and a mermaid, I assume. He looks like he's got some pity look on his face, but he knows he's getting some. They're embracing each other in an affectionate show of platonic friendship. Platonic? Very platonic. It's like weird, like, 
Pink Panther sex. And you see his eyes are going down. He's really trying to get a look at the booty. If it was the hot Cheeto guy, he would have slapped her ass. He's sneaky. That's why they call him the Pink Panther, because Panthers are like, I see what you're doing, Pink Panther. That's f***ing up. That's kind of nasty. Pink Panther sex scandal. What is it called? Feminism. I, ba I can barely see that woman's <laughs> face. She is... She is dark as the wall. Uh, naked lady, this was taken on the Titanic, right? Painting like one of your French girls, you know? Her profession? I want to say she's like a like a classy hoe. A slave owner. She's an owner of, it looks like a plantation. She's probably a porn star, like the earliest like peaks. When would you say this was made? I don't know, sometime in the 1400s. And the flowers and all that, and especially the neck piece, like a little choker. She's kinky, but not too kinky. A prostitute. A prostitute. I'm pretty close. Yeah. Wait, this girl is supposed to be a prostitute? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> I just have a higher view of women. They used to call the black slaves that uh, breastfed the babies. Huh. Well, what did they used to call them? Slaves. Heffas or Bubbas? Oh. You know about this, right? English. Berthas, Bethas, something like that. It reminds me of uh, the Neanderthal drawings on the wall. Who drew this? It's just the P. Picasso. Picasso. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please. Penelope. Um, Chris Pratt. Pedro. Pollock. Picasso. Picasso! That makes a lot more sense. I should have known that. What do you see? I'm trying to figure that out. I had to do a bunch of these in first grade because they were trying to see if I was gifted or not. It looks like a butterfly. Oh, I could, I could see some faces. Weird ass moth or something. It just looks like like a pelvis, like the uterus on top, ignoring the bottom. It's like a <laughs> uterus, like lady parts to me. Yeah, there's nothing there. I don't, I don't really see anything. Just a couple, couple spots. Well, I have to guess which one's really famous. I'm not allowed to like pick two. I have to pick one. Mm. What is that? What is B? Is that a urinal? I mean, like a pencil shaving shirt sounds like the absolute most ridiculous kind of thing. I'm guessing A. It's B. Gotta go with my boy B. I don't want to pick B, but I feel like the answer is B, and I feel like you're tricking me, but I'm gonna go with A. No. There it is. What, is that a toilet? It appears to be a urinal. Why? I so don't get art. That's cool. I mean, it's weird, but it's cool. I think that's theft. I they say the best artists are thieves, too. <laughs> Steal the toilet, write your name on it. Would you consider this art? No. I mean, it depends on who peed in it. Did somebody famous, like, pee on it? Sure. Anything's art. Well, I thought you said it before everything's art. Sure. Any, I mean, it's, it's all subjective. He didn't like do anything to change it. He just like added his name and then like put it on a different side. No, I can do it. Like I could do that, but I suck at art. You do you, man. I mean, I don't think anyone's ever looked at a urinal from that perspective other than the guy building it. I mean, it's stupid unless he has some kind of, if he understands it, and sure, I don't think he understands it. It's just a urinal flipped upside down. To a certain degree, I feel like art should have effort placed into it. Again, I would say anything classifies as art. Now, obviously, there's objectively good and bad art. Sure, if it's art, I'll take it as art. The Benedict Cumberbatch. I was about to say Benedict Arnold, and I was like, that's not right. A looks like a really fancy bomb. Uh, let's go with D. It's A or D? I want to say A. I'm gonna go with D. It has to be Doctor Strange, see? I'm going to A again, I gotta stick to my guts, and watch it be f***ing D. Yeah, I was f***ing right. Sesame seeds. No way. It's cucumber, or sunflower seeds. There's not Cumberbatch seeds. But they're not actual sunflower nope. seeds? I think they're made out of clay. Made all of those. Do I consider this art? Yeah, that's that takes a lot of time and patience. That's an art. It is art. Yeah, I consider that art. Do you think you could be an artist after looking at some of these pieces? No. Never. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, I mean, <laughs> honestly, the dude literally flipped the toilet. Yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. I can make something, it wouldn't have the same effect though. Cause like, I, like these guys, the like, even though like, I don't think it's art, they like, in their hearts, they're like, yes, this is like a masterpiece. I would do that and be like, this literally means nothing. I don't know what the I'm doing here. Like stuff that looks like really stupid to me is like famous and like really expensive. And I'm like, I don't get it. 